help at last. Three days after Hurricane Ian struck, residents of Sanibel are still being plucked from the devastation. Is she okay in there? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go take a look at her, all right? The island off Florida's southwest coast was cut off when the only bridge from the mainland was ripped apart by the storm. Guys here from the RS, I'll bring the first lady out. Sanibel was one of the worst hit areas. These residents have likely been unable to contact friends and family even just to let them know they're alive. I've lost everything, everything, my life savings, everything, my tools, everything. In the inland town of Northport, a new threat is emerging, flooding from swollen rivers. See what other people go through, makes you really appreciate what you, what you have. In Fort Myers, many are still waiting for the authorities to arrive leaving communities to look after each other. This whole area is still without power and water. What's happening here is that the members of a local gym are just gathering whatever food they can, cooking it up and handing it out to those in need. These people don't even have anything that they could even cook on, so their houses were waist deep, chest deep, knee deep in water, so whatever we can do to help. The storm continues to weaken as it passes over Virginia. But Hurricane Ian has forever changed Florida. Barbara Miller, ABC News, Fort Myers.